Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. In this video series, we are discussing about Salesforce Process Builders. In today's video, we will discuss how we can add multiple criteria to processes and rearrange them. So we have a problem statement with us. First thing is, when case is updated with status escalated, we need to send an email to user and update the description of that case to the this case is escalated string okay next thing is one more criteria we have and that is when case is updated with case origin field as email then we have to update the subject of a case to case origin is email string okay so these are the two criteria and corresponding actions associated with it okay so we'll go to our salesforce org And uh, we already had a process created in our previous video where we added uh, two actions for single criteria and I'll just explain you. So this process is created on case object and we have selected when a record is created or edited option to start the process. In the criteria we have specified if the status of case is escalated then we have to execute these two actions. First is send an email alert to a user and second is update the description field of a, that particular case to this string this case is escalated now we have one more criteria and that is if the origin of a case is email then we have to change the subject of that particular case to case origin is email okay so we have one more criteria now what we'll do is we'll go to uh, this add criteria uh, option and we'll create one more criteria and create a corresponding action to that criteria okay so first of all what we have to do we have to clone this process because this is an existing process which is activated already so we'll just create a new version of this process click on save so that we can make changes to this process and then we'll click on add criteria okay and the criteria name is case origin is email okay we'll keep the conditions are met checked and uh, in the conditions we'll specify origin field of case and we'll just check null value and again we'll specify origin and it is equals to email okay and we'll keep all conditions are met as checked and we'll click on save so we have added one more criteria now now what we'll do we'll add the action corresponding to this criteria so if this criteria is satisfied then only the action should be executed so we'll select action as update records and action name should be update case subject okay and record to update we will select select the case record that started your process because we have to update same case right so i'll click on choose and here i'll specify subject field okay so subject string value and it should be the case origin is email okay so i'll just save this action now we have created two criteria and corresponding actions to those two criteria when those mm -hmm. criteria are uh, successfully satisfied those actions would be executed okay now one thing to be noted over here is uh, just observe this connectors okay so if status is escalation this criteria is satisfied then this action will be executed and if it is not satisfied then only it will go to the other criteria and verify this criteria and if if uh, this criteria is satisfied then it will execute this associated action and even if this criteria is also not satisfied so it will just stop this process okay so but we don't want this we want both of them should be executed okay whether or not this criteria is satisfied or not so for that what i have to do is i have to go into this stop option i'll double click this and just read this thing when this criteria is true and the process execute associated action group what should happen next so what is checked now it is stop the process right but we won't 
do that we what we want is we want this criteria to be executed as well okay so we'll select evaluate next criteria and we will save this right so when this uh, action associated with this criteria is executed it will evaluate the next criteria and once this criteria and its actions are executed it will stop this process okay so we'll just activate this now we'll just uh, update a case record and verify whether uh, both of these criteria are satisfied and their associated actions are getting executed or not okay so we'll just go to a case record open a case record yeah so status is new and case origin is phone at the moment so what we will do we'll specify status as escalated and we'll specify case origin as email okay now notice the subject field notice the description field and we'll also verify whether we are receiving an email alert or not okay so i'll just click on save you can see subject got changed to case origin is email and description got updated to this case is escalated okay now we'll go to our gmail account and we'll refresh this and verify whether we are getting an email or not okay so we got an email that this case has been escalated you can verify the case number here it is 1035 and this one is also having 1035 at the end right so this is how you can add multiple criteria nodes in a process builder and you can execute associated actions with those nodes okay now one more thing is there so let's say if you want to order these criteria and their uh, actions execution right so that also you can do in process builder so for that again i have to clone a process create a new version of it so that i can show you how we can reorder these actions and criteria nodes okay so right now uh, whenever case will be updated first it will check this criteria and if it is satisfied it will execute actions associated to this criteria and next it will check for this criteria node okay but what we want is we want to check this criteria node first okay and then if actions are executed for this criteria nodes we want the other criteria node to be verified so for that uh, we'll first cancel this and what we have to do we have to just drag this criteria node okay so now the first criteria which will be verified is this one case origin is email also we need to change this actions also so I'll just change this to evaluate next criteria and other one to stop okay so this is how you can reorder the criteria and associated actions in process builder okay so if you have any doubt in this video uh, you can write it down in the comment section do not forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.